welcome to this uh, new video of arduino series in this video i'll explaining that uh, how you can control a how you can create a arduino program that can control traffic lights so before going to the design let us see how does this work so this one i have designed a traffic light you can see four lanes are there and uh, three color rgb is there sorry red green and orange is there so see how it is working so i'll simulate this through proteus so you can see one green is there and after th after the green it will go to orange and at that point of time all other lanes are red then it will go to red up one lane and it will go to green up the another lane so like this the process will continue and uh, this is what we are going to design uh, design in today's uh, video uh, now let me just uh, go to the we'll start from the scratch how to take the arduino how to take the leds and how to write the program for this so let us uh, uh, create a new project here and then we'll continue so we'll start a new project and from the scratch we'll do the thing so first of all you have to op open this proteus design suite and uh, the version should be above 8 so to use the arduino board so here you'll go to a new project and when you come to new project it will ask for a name and it will ask for the path to save so you can give your name and a default path wherever you want to save the project and uh, after this uh, I have some na same names so for replacing. Okay, so next step is project widget. So make it a uh, default uh, schematic diagram, whatever it is. No need to change it. And next, do not cre uh, create a PCB layout. It should be selected because we are not going to create any PCB layout for the project. We are just going to simulate it. And next, you can go to create a firmware project. So here you have to select create a firmware project. And here you can see it is uh, different types of microcontrollers are here for starting from 8051 arduino and then here raspberry pi is also there in some other video i'll explain raspberry pi as well so we'll select the arduino here now once i select arduino here you can see it is asking what type of arduino board you are going to use generally arduino mega or arduino uh, uno that is generally available so we'll go with arduino uno and that's it and click on next okay so it will give you a uh, give a summary of the project you have selected then uh, click on finish so it will uh, open new window for you so you can see when the new window opens basically there are two things one is schematic capture here uh, one second the file is not visible okay so now you can see there are two windows will open here one is schematic capture or one is source code so in schematic capture we are going to do all the connections that is required and by default one arduino board is open here so if you have idea on how the arduino board works then you can see I'll just zoom in a little bit so this is the arduino board here and uh, the reset button and the internal led which is connected to pin number 13 here so everything is available as available in the arduino uh, uno board okay so and here the pins are also there you can see all the pins available I, I um, in input output pin 0 to 7 that is 8 digital input output pins and 5 analog pins is there <clears throat> and as well as the pin up to pin number 13 is also there so all the available pins are here in this board and the definition of the pin is used uh, for which purpose it can be used so everything is uh, uh, written there so now we have the default arduino board and uh, next thing is that we need to uh, get the required components for this okay so what are the required components so for to get the components you need to go to this component mode here and click on the p so it will open a library for you and here i am going to use the rgb function that is available inside so i'll write rgb here and it will show two rgb models here okay so i think i can go for traffic So here traffic light is available and as well as the previously that is shown the RGB you can use that as well. So uh, you can also use this uh, as well so RGB and uh, in some other video I will explain how to use this but right now we will be just going through traffic light. So by default it is available here just select this one okay and uh, place it here somewhere okay. Now in this uh, module what is advantage is here so ground connection is by default made so we don't need to give any ground connection we just have to give the 
um, uh, this uh, input uh, pins to the uh, this one is for LED uh, red LED this one is for orange and this one is for green so directly we will be using the pins to control this first let us see how we can control this single module and then we will go to the traffic light module so before going to the programming so I need to connect this traffic light uh, pins to the respective pins of the Arduino so how do we do that so to uh, connect that uh, we need to go to this connection so we need to find the virtual uh, uh, pin here so I need to find where it is So you need to connect this uh, dynamic here, you go to this symbol here and go to this dynamic and double click here, sorry not double click just uh, go single click and come here and place that. So basically this is a dynamic pin so through this you can uh, connect whatever connection is required and uh, <coughs> so if I double click here you see it is asking where, uh, where to connect. So let me just select it I will connect it to pin number 8 of the Arduino. So where is the pin number 8? So here is the pin number 8 and I will make the connection. Similarly one more I will keep here and I will connect it to let us say pin number 9. So connecting to pin number 9 and click OK and make the connection here and uh, then one more we need. So here I will connect to it uh, to green and I will give this uh, I will give it to pin number 10. Okay, so now this is uh, connection is done. Our next part is the ground connection, uh, which is internally in this module. It is there. We don't need to have any ground connection, but if it is there, you can connect to the ground as well. Uh, so that is not required in this case. Now this much connects with this much of connection, we can go to the coding part and I will write the code for this. So how do we write the code for this? So see when you open the Proteus, so by default some codes are there. Do not disturb anything. So let it be what it is. So we need to start our code in the void setup. So here we need to start the code. So you might be knowing that when you need to control any LED or any actuator or output. So you need to define that pin model, pin mode. So right, how to define? So I'll write pin mode. So we have connected to pin number eight, eight, nine, and ten. So here pin mode eight. What is the eight? Eight is a output. Okay. Give a semicolon and similarly again pin mode next one we have connected to 9 so 9 comma output again pin number 9 is a output and similarly pin number 10 is also a output so here I will take pin number 10 comma output So pin number uh, and uh, semicolon here as well ok. So pin number 10 is output. Now in the void loop what we need to do we need to control the pin. So how to do? So let us just write digital so digital write and it is pin number 8 as high ok. So, uh, with this much of uh, program let us see what is happening in the simulation. So we will just click on uh, play button here so it will compile the sketch and it will try to simulate the sketch as well. So we will go to the schematic here so let us see what is happening. The code is still simulating so once the uh, simulation is completed then the output will come ok compiled successfully now let us go to the uh, schematic capture here you can see the red is now glowing so if i stop this simulation now it is off if i start the simulation then the red will be glowing right so now uh, let us see how you can control all the three led so it's quite easy so just i'll copy this paste it here 
again one more is required and I will make as 9 and this one is 10. So, now with this let us see what is what happens to the LEDs. So, it will just uh, take some time to compile. Now, it is compiled. You can see here all the three is glowing, right. Now, to make a traffic light control what we need? So, we need to make these uh, lines glow and with regular intervals, ok. We do not need that at every time it should be on. So, for that what we are going to do? Initially, we have so let us see green is connected to your uh, a sorry red is 8, orange is 9 and 10 is your green, right. So, first we will do the red one as high and other as low. That means, when the red, uh, red is glowing then the green and orange are off. So, we will make it low, right. Now, after what after that what we need to do? After some time the orange will glow and the other two pin will be off. So, for that I will give a delay of how much second? Let us uh, give a delay of 2 second that means, I will write here 2000. So, after a delay of 2000 that means, 2 seconds. So, what will happen? So, I will copy this code and because we are going to use the same pin again and again. So, I will paste it here. So, this pin number 8 that is red, red will go low means it will be off. Okay. It will be off, then this one will be high, ok, and uh, the red is uh, the green is still low, ok. After this, what will happen? So, after again a delay of let us say 1 second, so I will write 1000 here. So, after a delay of 1 second, so what will happen? The green is going to glow, and the other two will be off. So, for that, I will just copy paste this and make the necessary changes. So, here this is low already. I, so, now what will happen? This will go low, the orange is go low, the orange will go low and the green will be high now, right. So, what logic we have written? First, the red is high and then the orange is high and then the green is high. So, after this what will happen? So, after this again the process should uh, start and I need that the green LED should be glowing for 2 seconds let us say. So, I will write here digital write sorry here a delay of let us say 2000 means 2 second ok. After this delay what will happen? So, as the program is ending here the boil loop after this delay of 2 second it will again go to the fast line. So, here now here what will happen? 8 is high, 9 is low, 10 is low, it will happen, it will wait for 2 second and then it will go to the orange case and li like the process will continuously go on for the infinite loop, right. Now, let us see what is happening with this, ok. Now, see here what is happening for 2 second, it will be on, then this yellow or the orange one is on, after 1 second the green is on now, ok, after that again it goes to the red after that again it will come to the yellow or the orange and after one second it will come to the green, right. Now, this is uh, uh, this is for one side, but when you want to make a traffic light then you need to do the same thing in the three four sides, right. So, how do we do that? So, for that I will just uh, stop the simulation, I will copy this so copy this and I will paste it. So, okay, you have to go to this mode. What happened? It's not copied actually. I don't know. Copy paste uh, is ah uh, here. So one more is here. Okay. So, let us uh, try to do for the two first and then it will go to the uh, then also how we can make it for. So, to make it look better, so what will I will rotate it anti rotate it clockwise ok and this will become like this and I will just drag it and keep it here. So, that now it looks better right. So, what you can do? Again we can take the dynamic and I will uh, place the pins here. So, three pins are required. So, I will paste it here. Ok, I will connect this green to here and this is here and this is here. Now, I need to give the pin number here as well. So, how to give? We have already taken 8, 9, 10 and we will be taking that 11, 12, 13 as well. 
So, here I will take 11, here I will take 12, and uh, here I will take 13. So, what is this virtual pin concept and how to use this? I will explain in some other video, otherwise, this video will get lengthier. So, this is how you can connect and we need to write the code for that as well. So, how do we write the code? So, first of all, we have to make those 11, 10, uh, 11, 12 and 13 as the outputs. So, in the void setup, so I will just copy it here and here I will write 11, here you can write 12, sorry, 12 and then your 13. Okay. Now, I have declared the pin number at here and uh, let us first see the logic. So, when this red is on that means the green of the other side is on right. So, when orange is on for this one then here the orange will also glow and after that when the green is on here uh, here the red will, will glow right. So, remember we have connected 8, 9, 10 as red, orange, green and again 11, 12, 13 are red, orange, green. So, we will go to the code. So, first in instance so what is happening? So, in the first in instance when the red is on for the first lane or the one lane, then the green is on for the second lane, right. So, here I will make the 11 number pin as low because of the second lane the pin has to be low. So, I will make it low here, okay. And then the orange is low, so pin number 12 that is low and pin number 13 I will make it high. So, at that point of time, so this will be your high means uh, when the red of one is on then the green of another one is going on right that is what we are making here then after this what will happen so the same story again so when the orange of the second one is glowing then the orange of second one also should start glowing what i did so i'll just copy all this again and i will paste it here so it will be easy now okay 8 9 10 so, 8 that is the red of the first one will go low means it will be switched off and uh, then the orange will be high, the orange will be high here and then the 8, 9, 10, 10 is what green so it is off still. So, 11 is the red, 12 is the orange so that will again go high for the second lane and then it will be low. The green is still low, right. Now, after this what will happen? The green of the first one will be on and the red of the third, uh, second one will be on, right. So, here after a delay of 1000, 1 millisecond, sorry 1 second, so I will paste it here. So, first one red is off, orange was high and the orange will go to low now. So, orange is now low and then digital right. So, this is the green of the first lane. So, the green of the first lane I will make it on and the red of the second lane should be high now because one side green is there means the other side green, uh, red should be high. So, at a time one side green is only possible. So, I will make it uh, low here all others are low right. So, if you notice at each point of time, so two LEDs are glowing right. Now, after this what will happen? So, uh, now the red of the uh, uh, second lane uh, green of the second lane is high sorry yeah right so red of the second one is high and green of the sorry green of the uh, green of the first one is high and the red of the second one is low now up to here let us see what is happening in our code uh, then we'll uh, see what to do so up to right after writing this what is the error? A bracket missing. Yeah. Okay. So here, see compile successfully. Now let us see what is happening here. So both side red is there. Then both side orange is there. So when red is uh, green is here on. So this side also it should be uh, actually red here still, but it is going to. Okay. So, at a time both are going green, so that should not happen actually. 
so that is a wrong logic. So, what mistake we have done here is you see here when the digital write this one green ok. So, this one I am making as uh, high and we have writ not written the further code. So, that is why the uh, error is coming. So, how do we make that? So, to make that uh, So, what I need to do here is so I have changed that logic now. So, let us see what happens in this logic again. Oh, sorry. So, it is successful now. So, see now what is happening here. So, see this orange is on, this orange is on. Why it is not simulating? Okay, I made some mistake here. Yeah. Okay, so in the code, uh, what happened here is, so but let us see what is happening, and then we'll go to the next piece of the code. So here you see, first red is on, the second line is red is on, so orange green. So after this, what should happen? After this green. So, this green should be on and this green should be off and it should be red always, right. So, with this logic, see what is happening, we will go to the source code now. So, up to here we are clear. After this 2 second of delay, what should happen? So, after this 2 second of delay, now we are going to the second lane. Second lane green will be high. So, see where the green is connected. So, green is connected to pin number. Uh, here pin number 11 the green is connected right. So, in this pin number 10 here pin number 11 is green. So, we will make the green one as high. So, so the green one will be high and at that time, so what will happen? So, to the red of the first one will be high, red of the first one will be glowing and the green of the first one should be low means it should go off then only the second line will start and at this point of time all other LEDs are low. Okay. So, now let us see with this piece of code again what happens. So, if I go step by step, uh, if you go step by step then it is very easy for you. So, see now both are red, Okay, then orange is here, then green is here, after that it is going to green, uh, it should go to the green of this one. Okay. So, like this what you can do, you can just uh, uh, make uh, 4 uh, traffic lanes as well. So, uh, with this logic what I have done is, so I have just uh, created the 4 lanes here ok and uh, this one is just connected to see what is the voltage flowing. Uh, so, you may not do this. So, just to confirm that pin number 13 it is connected to internal LED and you can check whether it is working or not ok. So, with this uh, what is the source code you see here? So, I have here declared pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 12, so all the all the pins I have used it here and then I have dec I have uh, clearly written that which one is pin number uh, lane 1 which one is lane 2. So, you see here what is happening? So, at one point of time, so digital 13 high. So, what is, what is the 13 number pin is connected? So, you can see the pin number 13 is connected oh, pin number 13 is not used actually this is just the internal led uh, okay let's see here pin number 1 is high so which one is pin number 1 so pin number 1 is connected here this one so green of this lane is high 
and after this all other pins are low so all other pins are low of that line and which one is next is high 6 is high 9 is high and 12 is high so 6 9 12 so you can see 6 is the rate of the lane 2 9 is the rate of the lane 3 and 12 is the rate of the lane 4 so when this green is on then all these three lanes are red that is uh, when the green of the lane 1 is on then the i am making all the reds are as on and all others are off right so after this logic what will happen so pin number 2 and pin number 1 i am making it as high okay pin number 1 is low so that means switching of this uh, switching of this green and pin number 2 is high so which is the second one here so pin number 2 is this one orange or the yellow so it is going high and it is going off and previously all other states are remaining same so no need to write anything for that so whichever is on that will be on whichever is off that will be off now let us see in lane 2 what is happening so in lane 2 so again digital write one low so which one making high 3 is making high 4 is high and then obviously 9 and 12 is also high so see here so 3 is high means red is high so here I am changing from 6 to 4 means this green will be on now and after that all other two reds are on. So like this the loop will continue. So see if I run this code, see if green all other are red then it is orange then all other red. So other lane 2 goes to green all other are red. Okay. So like this it will go one by one, by one and you can uh, develop your own logic for this okay so i'll run it again so let us uh, see what happens when i press the reset button okay now it is going on i just press the reset button as an arduino you know it start the programming from the starting so this that is what happening here okay so like this you can make your traffic light control system uh, using proteus software as well as the code i have given here so I will try to paste this code on the uh, description as well. So you can just copy this code and you can use for your Arduino board as well. The same code will work. Okay, starting from this void setup. So I will paste all this code in the description. So you can have a look in that and you can just copy paste this code for your Arduino programming. So to control the LED. And uh, one thing is here you need to know that here the ground connection is not there. But you have, you have to make your ground connection on your own so that's the uh, one thing you need to do so that's it from this video and uh, we'll meet in the next video with some uh, new project and uh, if you have doubt on this how this virtual pin or what is this virtual pin then just post a comment i'll try to explain in other video how to use this virtual pin and what does that mean okay okay so with this we'll uh, con conclude it here so thank you for watching and uh, share with your friends so those who can benefit it have a good day